So now this was a case of deep digital flexor tendonitis and this can be treated a variety of different ways. It can be treated um, with injecting platelet-rich plasma or stem cells into that area. But in this case, it was a relatively small core lesion um, and the client wanted to us to do it without using the kind of higher power regenerative therapies. And so we went ahead and used shockwave therapy for this and it worked quite well. Again, three treatments, three weeks apart, stall rest, hand walking, the horses do need to move. They can't just stand in a stall. Um, and then this horse came sound fairly quickly, 30 days post treatment. And then here you have some ultrasounds which show it the original one on the left, pre-treatment, and you can see that small core lesion in the lobe, the outline lobe of the deep digital flexor in the mid pastern area. And then now you see it 30 days post shockwave following the last shockwave treatment. And you can see that it's gone. Um, there's a little bit of scar tissue there, but this healed in exactly as we hoped it would. Um, and we were very pleased with this because that's classically a difficult area to get to heal.